uh, Chris Hopkins. I'm originally from Columbus, Ohio, Ooh, home of woo. the Ohio State Buckeyes, right, right. and America's opioid epidemic. <laughs> Come for the college football, stay for the heroin. Woo. You might have seen us on ESPN and Drug Wars and probably not too much other than that. <laughs> Interracial dating was uh, big in Columbus to be coming up, and I'm going to get back on that in a minute. But now, um, the byproduct of that is confusing the fuck out of the police. Now, let me explain. <laughs> Back in the 80s, all the police mug shots looked like J.J. Walker from Good Times. <laughs> now they look like Drake. <laughs> it's confusing the fuck out of the cops. The big cops are like, man, he had blonde hairs, nappy, blue eyes, freckles, and big lips, and he ran that away. <laughs> police get charged like, we can draw black dudes, we can draw white dudes, but we can't draw them at the same damn time. <laughs> Columbus is famous, or I should say infamous, uh, for our strip clubs. The Stormy Daniels incident happened there. Another strip club went viral because the strip club got busted because they were taking the EBT food stamp card in exchange for heroin and lap dances. Yeah, I'm disappointed because I didn't have no food stamp balance, uh, card, balance on my food stamp card when I was in Ohio that took part in that. But the thing that really got me, man, and this is also a very true story, the same club story Daniels got uh, arrested at, they had a pregnant bikini contest. I shit you not, a pregnant bikini contest. You had to be more than three months along pregnant, visibly showing, and the, uh, the like prize were like $500 in cash, like diapers, similac. That's the official prenatal care program for the state of Ohio. <laughs> So I've been in, a, in the Dallas area for you know, almost a year, and I got here last April. I used to say Dallas, but I'm gonna be real with y'all. Standing out uh, in Addison, I went to uh, what they call Oak Cliff to get some weed. Oh, yeah, this shit go from Troy Aikman to Michael Urban, quick, fast. <laughs> My friend, he back there, Diego Morales from Vato and Chiso. That's my boy, man. He had me come to uh, Oak Cliff to do some comedy. I thought uh, Google Maps was trying to get me set up. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> that shit looked like the entrance to Tales from the Crypt when I was driving in there. I pulled up, Freddy Krueger was getting mugged in the parking lot. Jason Voorhees was asking for change, man. It was, it was crazy. I ain't been back to Oak Cliff. I tell you where I've been. I've been exploring Dallas. I tell you where I have been, though. Harry Hines Boulevard. Y'all been to Harry Hines Boulevard? Oh man, that Disney ain't got shit on that. That's the Magic Kingdom. Hey, I went, I got a cell phone, a used tire, and a blowjob in the same spot. It was out 15 minutes. Harry Hines got shit, man. I'm going back. I got me a, a car stereo coming, some purple Mexican boots, and a sex doll. It's coming in. I'm going to get back to Harry Hines. Nah, everybody, man, we trying to go through some healing, man. It's been a crazy time in the country. Everybody, y'all trying to have some laughter, man. And since I'm an arrogant asshole from the North, I feel like I have the right to tell y'all about what's racist and what's not racist. But people get confused. Like, people were upset about the uh, Charlie Brown Thanksgiving special. They said that it was racist because the only black Peanuts character, Franklin, was seated by himself on the other side of the table and all the other Peanuts characters. And the people said, that has to be racist, but it's not. Because Franklin came with Peppermint Patty and he stole like a little bit of weed from his uncle and a half a bottle of Bulls Farm. He smoked that blunt with a Peppermint Patty behind a uh, Snoopy's doghouse and got some head. But he still had a gram in his sock and it was smelling loud. He ain't want Charlie Brown's mama to smell it and come over there with that womp 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 bullshit. <laughs> so he sat on the table by himself. So the Charlie Brown Thanksgiving special is not racist, but I tell you what is racist. Water. <laughs> Yeah, I'll tell you all, y'all sit there and loud, nervous. I tell y'all, y'all have been black folks, y'all have been in the pool, y'all took your black friends to the pool. Niggas don't flow. Get the fuck out of here. Y'all seen the Summer Olympics, niggas is in everything but the pool. Get the fuck out of here. Jamaica has produced Usain Bolt, some of the fastest humans in the world. It's an island surrounded by water. And can't nobody swim? Water is racist. Now, I like making, trying to make everybody laugh and pissing everybody off. White folks, I got bad news for y'all. I got about three years left with NASCAR. It started with that BLM car. I'm telling you, I got about two years, and then it's gonna be, and the number 40 car of old Englishes and Lee, followed by the 187 of Chico Veil Bonds, and the number five on it. Swisher Sweets car, oh, the Hennessy car just got pulled over for bad tags. It's gone. It's gone. I got a lot to fuck with y'all with. Hey, I was talking about uh, Diego, man. I can't remember Dave Chappelle had the, uh, the racial draft. 
Man, I had a racial crowd, but I got drafted by the Latinos. Man, I thought the white folks were gonna pick me up. It was crazy, the Latinos picked me up. Only downside is I gotta cut my own grass and fix my own car. <laughs> 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 and the nigga knows, I, and I had to you know, learn how to you know, show up you know, on time to work hard. It, it took some getting used to as a nigga, but I'm, I'm working on it. I wanna shout out to my Latino partners that's been fucking with me. Now, I, I know that was fucking, I was sitting there cringing and shit. I'm about to pick y'all cringe some more. We just had a black president followed by a celebrity president. It's only a matter of time before we have a black celebrity president. Now, once upon a time, people thought it was gonna be Bill Cosby. <laughs> Not so much anymore, but he did have a full back into the pharmaceutical world. <laughs> Everybody like Tiger Woods, he, you know, cover five or six races, but hey man, Tiger was out fucking with IHOP hoes, man. He might be out there, that's why he got hit with that nine nine. But I was talking to him, wasn't no people, man, he said, Ain't nothing like a good IHOP level hoe. So it was right, man. Sometimes you got to, you got to love them IHOP hoes. And then I thought about it, I was like, man, if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna make it count. Boom, Ice Cube. He made like Friday for like $37 in terms of profit. And he can just make that face. But when I think about it, man, there's only one choice, and he's got a presidential name Samuel L. Jackson. I mean, shit. Plus, who don't want to see a state of the union address people with the word motherfucker? <laughs> Now I want to talk to y'all, um, I'm about to get back on a little bit more about myself. Uh, I'm a father of a biracial kid, some of whom are grown, and it's cool having adult kids because you grow up to see what type of people you know they wind up being. But I made the mistake of going shopping with my oldest daughter who we went candle shopping. And she's dragging me through this place and she's like, hey dad, this candle over here smells like lavender. And that's cool. It's like this one here, it's hot apple pie. If you put this, you know, like this candle, it smells like, you know, apple pie's baby. That's cool, that's nice. So this one smells like fresh rainstorm. I was like, hey, she's like, what? She's like, how come ain't no candles that smell like the other side of the family? She's like, what are you talking about? I was like, how come ain't no Newport and Hennessy scented candles? <laughs> how come ain't no candles that smell like six pit bulls tied up in the backyard? <laughs> or a candle that smell like a velvet paint that Martin Luther King put your grandma in the house. Man, I'm a hustler about my paper, man, so I came out with a lot of candles, man. I came out with a candle that smelled like probation. <laughs> I got another candle, man, coming out that smelled like child support. <laughs> I'm fucking with my biggest creation, though, man. This is what I'm proud of, man. I got a candle that smelled like, let me hold $5, man. You want to know what that smell like? I'm going to be right back there when I come off stage. <laughs> man, y'all were very proud, man. I'm going to try to keep that in, so. Bye.